Sonoma County today. As of today, May 11th, we have 309 confirmed cases. 168 have recovered and 137 are active and we have four deaths that have been reported, one in the last 24 hours. We performed 9,605 coronavirus tests and that is up 182 in the last 24 hours. So today I wanna to give you some information about testing so that you know where we're doing testing, how much testing we're doing, and what the criteria are for testing in different locations. So as a community, as I've said before, we need to have 750 people tested daily in order to move on to the next stage of reopening uh, or loosening shelter in place. That's one of the criteria. By May 18th, our state testing sites operated by OptumServe will be doubling their test capacity to 520 people per day. And at the county, we can test 250 persons per day. So we would have exceeded that 750 uh, persons tested per day metric uh, by May 18th. So let me tell you how these testing sites differ. The state testing through OptumServe available in Santa Rosa and in Petaluma is open to anyone. Community-wide testing is a critical step toward reopening the county and it allows us to identify and increase our understanding of COVID-19 community spread. This includes collecting a broad sample of results, including data from those who do not have symptoms. As we know, uh, up to one third uh, of persons who test positive with COVID have no symptoms that can still spread the disease. Not as much as those who are very symptomatic, but they can still spread the disease. So if you're able to, please go and get tested. Anyone can make an appointment uh, by going to the state testing site at lhi.care slash COVID testing, or those who do not have internet access can call 1-888-634-1123. At this time, People who speak a language other than English should call for an appointment and will be connected to an interpreter. There is no cost for the test for those who do not have health insurance. No one will receive a bill for getting tested. These state testing sites are a separate operation from the county drive through testing at the Sonoma County Public Health Lab on Sinead. The county testing site is open for five groups of high-risk individuals that are prioritized for testing. These groups include all healthcare workers, asymptomatic or symptomatic, all first responders, asymptomatic or symptomatic, symptomatic persons over the age of 65, symptomatic people of any age with underlying health conditions, and all essential workers with or without symptoms. Groups of uh, these workers include grocery store workers, in-home supportive service caregivers, construction workers, utility workers, childcare providers, or anyone who has continued to work under shelter in place um, as an essential function. Testing is free uh, through the Sinead location as well. And people in those priority groups that I just mentioned should call 707-565-4667. Again, 707-565-4667 to make an appointment with the county's drive-through testing. Other individuals that have coronavirus symptoms should still contact their medical providers to seek treatment and testing. So today I also wanna to, uh, talk a little bit about uh, what the health order requires related to facial coverings. Facial coverings are required when you're indoors in places other than your home. However, when you're outdoors, facial coverings are only required if you are not able to maintain that six foot physical distance between yourself and others. So if you're going to the park, you should carry a facial covering in case you're in a situation where you need to wear it. The purpose again of wearing the facial covering is to stop the spread of COVID-19 from the person wearing the facial covering to other people. Unfortunately, I have heard that some people are out there and uh, are not wearing facial coverings. Um, and they are also acting, there's others who are acting with extreme hostility and cruelty but by admonishing others who they perceive are not following the facial covering order. Just be kind to one another, do your part by setting a good example, wear your facial covering, stay home as much as possible, maintain social distancing. And uh, again, 
treat others as you'd like to be treated. A community question for today, can dog groomers be open or not? The order allows for veterinary care to be provided to animals, including medically necessary grooming services. If your veterinarian has determined in writing that grooming your dog is medically necessary for the health of your animal, you can make an appointment and have your dog be groomed. Pet grooming for cosmetic pur purposes is not allowed at this time, but will be considered at a later, later stage in the reopening process. Decisions about what businesses can and cannot be open under the health order are decided by the level of risk associated with operating, as well as the need. So thanks for joining today. Take care of yourself, stay healthy, and we'll talk again soon.